everyone i hope you are safe and doing good so in the same plan in c++ programming language we are discussing functions in c++ uh, we have discussed till now uh, you know in functions uh, introduction to functions and then have to pass parameter in function like call by value and call by right a small topic is left that i was about to mention in previous video but i forgot that is default argument value default arguments right so it's a small topic but yeah it's important one so this thing we will see in this video what are default arguments how to pass them when to pass them some advantages of using default arguments and some drawbacks with proper example i'll show you right so let me just tell you just try to relate this with a real life example suppose see i generally eat two chapatis daily right so my mother knows that i eat two chapatis so she uh, make only two chapatis for the day right by default i don't need to tell her every day like i want two chapatis right? but if some day if i'm more hungry and i want three chapatis then specifically i mention that uh, i want three chapatis so you will make three chapatis for me on that day right so on that day <clears throat> that default value two <clears throat> is overridden by the value provided by me number of chapatis two right so this kind of thing so generally uh, when we deal with these projects and programs also so generally most most of the time most of the cases values for some arguments are same right like maybe rate of interest 10% or any any rate of interest so most of the time suppose rate of interest is fixed so you don't need to tell every time that 10% rate of interest is 10%. You just give that default value in the function, right? Or like this text when you calculate text, then suppose in my company most of them are following that. We have a 6% interest, 10% text, or 12%. Percent. So by default, the text rate for so that is 12%. That in that category. So when you calculate that income tax for those individuals, by default, part that uh, text rate. 12.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.
right? So I'm just printing C out like hi and uh, whatever the prefix like and then name. So either we can use this only and name or we can concatenate this, concatenate with one paste and concatenate plus name, right? This way is also fine. So if you're using like plus and string, so better to include uh, specificity that uh, string header file. It's always a good thing to use a string header file if you're using strings, right? Now, this in this main, after successful completion, it will return zero. And this grid is uh, returning uh, nothing. So the data type is, return type is void, right? Let's run this. Here we are not using any default value. We are providing both the values, Rahul, Mr. and all, right? Let's run this. So see, hi, Mr. Rahul, let me just decorate it a little bit with the space, right? So now if in my class I have 60 students and all are 59 are boys and only one is girl. So rather than passing every time Mr. here, suppose I pass, uh, I call this function again. Like another student, Binod and name is Binod and Mr. So same, let's run this and see. Mr. Rahul, Mr. Bin also. Every time you are passing Mr., right? So in most of the cases, this argument value would be Mr., Mr., Mr. So rather than repeating this again and again, just pass it as a default value. Now where to write this as a default value? Either in declaration or definition. But, but it's always a good practice to write to provide default values, default argument values in declaration or prototype, not in definition, right? You can provide it in definition, right? But in that case, if you are providing default value in this function definition, then function definition must be before function calling, right? But it's always a good practice to, I'll recommend to use this thing, default values, to provide default values in function prototype. So function, this string prefix, default value for this, I am going to provide is equal to always Mr. Not always, most of the time, Mr. Because I have one girl in my class. So for that, I'll, uh, you know, use a miss. Right. So here, no need to provide this argument. Value for this argument. Let's run this and see what output you get. Say, hi, Mr. Rahul. Hi, Mr. Binod. So we, this is default argument. So default argument is a value automatically assigned by the compiler. If while calling the function, you don't provide any value for that argument. For this, we are not providing any value. So it will take automatically assign this value to that argument, right? So this is default argument value. I hope you got this. But there are some rules. See default, if suppose suffix also you want to use. So if I write something like this, suffix and suffix would all be different every time like surname of each student is different most of the students so I cannot provide a default value so what do you think will it work suppose you think this Rahul it will take mister for prefix and just provide suffix suppose row a right but this time it will give error see more than one instance of overloaded function we eat. why so because while you are calling this function whatever you will pass those would be those values would be assigned to the parameters from left to right so in name in name rahul would be assigned this row i would be assigned to prefix right but we have one more that is suffix so let's in definition also you have to change it suffix and after name, get plus with space and plus what suffix you will give. That would be printed. Okay, let's run this and see. See, default argument missing for parameter 3. 
for parameter 3. Default argument is missing. Because in this case, this Rahul would be assigned to this name, this Roy would be assigned to this prefix. Now it is expecting one more parameter, one more argument for suffix and you are providing only two. Right? So these values would be assigned from left to right. So you cannot leave it like this. Default argument should always be at the end. Right? If you want any default argument, then that would be in the end. If you have provided here default argument, then after that, all the argument or all the parameter you write here, that must be default. You cannot take any this argument, positional argument here. Right? So for this, you can fix this. A suffix is equal to just provide a space. So for default, it's space. Right? Now it will run. Same thing. But it will give now hi Roy Rahul. C and Mr. Binod. Why Roy Rahul? Because I am just printing hi then prefix. And in this case, prefix is Roy. Roy and name is Rahul. Right? And no suffix. Suffix, suffix is like space only. And if I call this for like greet and I think the name of that girl was Shristi. And now prefix is miss. Right? And suffix also suppose I'll give. I don't know a surname. So let's use Kumari here. Okay. Let's run this and see. Hi, Miss Srishti Kumari. Mr. Binod. Hi, Roy Rahul. So let's delete this. Right? So these values, the default values are overwritten here. Right? This, rather than this Mr. Now for this function call, prefix is Miss. Right? So these are not constant argument because the values can be changed. The values can be overwritten. If you provide your specific value, then default value would not be used. Right? Your special value, your specific value you provide that would be used while calling, right? So in this case, if you want to provide Rahul and Roy for suffix, then you cannot provide here Rahul and simply Roy. You have to provide Mr. also for second argument and then you can write here like Roy. Now it will work fine. See, Mr. Rahul Roy, right? So I hope you got the this uh, the funda of uh, default arguments. So this question is for you. You have to solve this. What would be the output of uh, this thing? Pause the video and try this out and uh, write down the answer in the comment section. See here we have first of all control will go to the main function. Then we are calling this sum. We are passing three uh, argument one to three. So before it it will check where it is defined but it is defined after that but yeah it has a declaration before calling so that's fine in declaration we have one two three three parameter but one is default for third one i am providing value zero right and return type is int so now it will go to the definition part and x y z three argument we have sorry three parameter we have here we have parameter x y z are parameters one two three are arguments and return x plus y plus z right so here it will it will call this sum function with one, two, three value. Default value is zero for z, but it will it will use three in this case. In second case, we are only providing one value, sum one. So it will give error. Why so? Because one will give will be given to x. For y, you are not giving any value. Yeah, for z we have default value, but for but for y, you are not giving any value, right? So it will give you error. Too few arguments in function call. Right, at least you have to pass two argument because one, two, two parameters are not default, only one is default. So it will give error. In this case, you have to provide at least two. This sum three, four, see that will work fine because x would be three, y would be four. You are not giving any value for z, it's okay. We have by default value zero, right? So let's run this and see what output you are getting here. Okay, we have Mr. Semicolon here. See, 6, 6 and 7. Right? 6, 6 and 7. Right? Other than 0 also, you can take any value. But after this, you cannot take something like this. Or if you modify it a little bit. For second argument, you give default value. For third, 
not you are not giving any default value in that case let's run this and see what error you are getting default argument missing for parameter 3 in this in sum for parameter 3 for this so after providing the default argument after this if you have any parameter that those all the parameter must be default so you have to provide here default argument after this default argument can be at the end right like in the tail of the parameter list default argument should be in the tail of the parameter list right so just by adding any default argument you can just increase you can just uh, you change the capability capability of the function right just by uh, using a default argument and you have to write down less code right the program would be easy to write so it helps in reducing the size of the program also but execution time would be a little bit more because if you are not providing any argument value for this then the compiler has to copy that default value to this parameter right so execution time would be a little bit more right i hope you got now what are default argument values or default values these are not constant values because you can overwrite these default values and rather than in declaration we can have default value here as well but in this case it will give error because if you are using this default value in function definition then function definition must be before function calling right you can just change it and you can just run the sensing right so that's it for this video now uh, in the next we will see uh, maybe some coding exercises on based on functions right so now i'll see you in the next video till then bye take care